If you're considering a career in data and need some guidance in your journey, then keep watching and we're going to look at whether it's right for you, whether you need deep maths and how to get started. Hi, I'm Nikki, and on this channel, I'm here to help you grow and progress in your data career with tips, strategies, and technical support in a way that works with your whole life. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now I've worked in data for over 15 years now, working in various positions from an analyst to a business intelligence manager, and also across different industries. So from public sector, mortgage, and automotive industries. And in that time, technology has changed so much. And I can see that there are so many different options and paths in data, and it can be quite overwhelming and confusing at times um, when you're getting started. There are a few questions that I come across a lot, so we're gonna dive into these in this video. Now, the first one is, can I be a data analyst? I want you to forget the technical skills for a moment and answer these questions. Do you love to learn? Do you like problem solving? And do you persevere when you're faced with a challenge? And if you answered yes to these questions, then you are definitely data analyst material. The challenge is often then, what do I need to know to get started? This leads on to the next common question, which is, do I need to be good at maths? Now I'm gonna go all out here and say that you do not need deep maths like regressions, any kind of predictive analytics or machine learning to be a data analyst. Now those are tools that can be used at the appropriate time, depending on what problem you are solving. They get discussed a lot, but are actually very niche and there are so many organisations that don't use them at all. So please don't miss out on a really amazing career in data just because you think that it's one area that makes up working in data. Now I go into this in more detail in one of my videos called What Skills Do You Need To Be A Data Analyst? So be sure to check that out. You can add huge value offering insight as an analyst using tools like Excel and Power BI to visualise data for an organisation. And in fact, because Power BI is relatively new and affordable for businesses, there is a really great opportunity right now to quickly become ahead of people who've been working in the industry for years already. On top of this, you can learn coding like SQL and grow into data warehouse development that will help support the insight process. None of that requires predictive analytics or machine learning, but of course, with all of that as a foundation, you could grow into those at some point. So keep your mind open and remember that every organisation on the planet uses data. There is a lot of potential out there. So now we come to the last question, which is how do you actually get started? You know that you've got the potential and you know it isn't just about deep maths or machine learning and that there are other elements to being a data analyst. So how can you get started on this career path? Now my biggest advice is that you have got to start looking for jobs and applying for them. And when you understand that this is a career with huge potential in terms of learning and earning capabilities, it really helps to give a bit of perspective at the beginning. So try and focus on getting a role which gets you that data experience, even if it seems quite basic to start with. By all means, go and learn things like SQL, but just be really aware that if you don't have experience of using it in the workplace, it's much harder to secure those types of roles straight away. If you see your career as a stepping stone, it's going to take some of the pressure off having to have that perfect job straight away. If you want to go into more detail, I have a free strategy guide for you, which you can access and I'll put the link in the description below. It talks you through what to expect in this career in terms of what you do day to day, as well as earning potential. I'll share more about the job first strategy that I recommend when you get started and what you need to be aware of in these early days. If you're finding this content useful, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications. See you soon.